Hey everyone, welcome back and happy, what is today? Today's Sunday, oof, okay. I'm still just trying to recoup from this LA trip, but it was a great LA trip. I mean, I still have a vlog and everything that I have to share with you guys, but yes, anyways, getting back to it, I wanted to share with you guys that it seems like we might have Mauricio with a girlfriend. What? Wait, what? We're going to break it all down. Before we jump in, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and let's do the damn thing. All right, guys. So. The Mauricio of it all, and this is the woman right here in question. Reality Blurb came out with this saying, Mauricio Umansky is sparking romance rumors with actress Leslie Vega. Talks of separation being leaked to the press and suggests that the trailer was dramatized. So, Mauricio celebrated evading elimination on Tuesday night's Dancing with the Stars with a dinner date with this actress who is in the corner in the little bubble here, and her name is Leslie Ray Vega and his parents sparking rumors of a potential romance, romance between them. Look, Giorgio says was the one who posted it. Um, this is quite the intimate dinner. Mauricio celebrates with his mom, dad, and friend, Leslie Ray Vega, after dancing with the stars. I'm wondering, first of all, you guys know us. We're like... We want to do a full IMDb on whoever this is. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do and find out who are you, Leslie Ray Vega. And here we go. We found out. Wait a minute. Share screen. So this is her. She was known for The Sopranos, Get Shorty, CSI, Crime Investigation, Head of the Class. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, she made a cameo. American Dad, Nip Tuck. Um, I don't see a lot of things that I recognize here. It's kind of like looking at Heather DeBros. Beverly Hills, 90210. Okay. 21 Jump Street. That's a big one. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, no, you got me. But this is her. Well back in the day, but this is her. She kind of looks like Farah. She looks like Kyle's oldest daughter, Farah. Not there. There she looks like Kelly Ben Simone. Oh, she's been in a lot. Okay. All right. All right, Leslie. We'll keep you around, but wait. Back to it. Days before his estranged wife, Kyle Richards, stepped out amid a cozy road trip with her rumored flame, Morgan Wade, Mauricio spent time with Leslie, an employee at his real estate firm, The Agency, and addressed the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't know about the new season. I may watch. I'm not saying I'm not. Everything will happen or not happen. It is what it is. But the trailer had been released just hours before the interview, and Mauricio did say, and we talked about this yesterday, that he had not yet watched. I don't want to watch it because the reality is Kyle and I know where we stand today. We know where we are, and it's been super dramatized, and I know that. It has to be in order to be entertaining and capture people's attention for television. Mauricio also doesn't want to relive things that he and Kyle have already worked past. I don't want to watch it because it's just going to put me in a place that I don't want to be. And I don't want to see an over-dramatization of my own life. Yeah, it's not fun when it's your own life. According to Mauricio, we know, of course, that they share all of their daughters, their three daughters, and then there's Farah. The two of them went through hard times amid production on season 13 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. The reality is, while we were filming it, it was kind of the beginning of us going through a difficult time. It wasn't really out there, and we weren't ready to tell the children, and we weren't ready to tell ourselves, and we weren't ready to have all of this, right? He went on to say that when it came to People's July report about his and Kyle's separation, 
obviously, and we talked about this too, that somebody spilled the beans. We don't know who. But as for his relationship with Leslie, who's known for her past roles on The Sopranos and Head of Class, she cheered him on in the Dancing with the Stars ballroom on Tuesday. She put supporting Mauricio on Latin night. And how fantastic to see Alfonso again after all these years since we did Circus of the Stars together back when we were child stars growing up. All right, I'm going to show you this really quick. This is her supporting. I'm not playing the music because of the copyright. She is pretty, though. She's really pretty. And she works at the agency. Imagine that. Hmm. A little close to home there, Mauricio? Maybe not. Maybe not. Leslie, who is a realtor at the agency, was then seen sitting beside them with her arm around his neck at dinner with his parents. And that was this photo right here. Mauricio celebrates with his mom, dad, and friend Leslie Ray Bega after dancing with the stars. Again, from Giorgio says. Now, following the sharing of a photo, a number of fans weighed in wondering if something is going on between the two of them. So this is his girlfriend and Kyle has hers. Okay, one person wrote. Then another signaled to their kids, how sad they're poor kids. So Kyle and Mo have officially come out with their new loves. Uh, I mean, first of all, I think with Kyle running around and doing whatever she wants at this point with this Morgan Wade girl, who cares? Like, if in fact, like, we know that this is going to be, it's the Real Housewives, so it's always going to be drama. But if Kyle had Morgan come into town, she was in Europe with her, then she came into town, and then she's running around with her all over California, and she's still saying, like, guys, I'm sick of this. I don't want to answer these questions. But the way that, and now this just kind of dawned on me. When TMZ caught up with Kyle Richards at LAX and they said, so Mauricio confirmed that we are, that you guys are separated. And she was like, yes, we are separated guys. I don't want to talk about this. Yes, we're separated. And then he, the reporter said, is there any chance for you guys to, you know, rekindle your romance and fix the situation? You would have thought that there would have been something to the effect of never say never I don't know what the future holds. Not sure. But that's not what we got. Instead, we got, that's private information. So then I thought about it, and I'm like, with her saying that's private information, that's probably her way of not upsetting the situation with Mauricio, but also not upsetting Morgan if in fact she is in a relationship with Morgan, which is exactly what it looks like. I mean, am I wrong? The, like if you kind of pick it apart, you have to like really like micro analyze or is it macro micro? I don't know. I don't give a shot. My point is you have to like really analyze the situation. And I think once you do, you'll see things here are not adding up girl. Or maybe they are. And that's what we just figured out. Guys, I want to hear what your opinions are. We'll be back for Hot Messy Topics tomorrow. But in the meantime, go ahead, comment below, smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys.